What's up guys, it's me Lego Paradise here and today I'm going to show you how to build a working pneumatic air compressor. This is a super compact design that combines four pneumatic pumps with a single XL motor along a central drive shaft to produce a powerful supply of compressed air that's perfect for powering your pneumatic Lego creations. Any excess air that is generated is stored in the two reservoir tanks on the side. Or if you want to make it even smaller, you can leave these off to bring the size down to just 16 by 7 studs wide. This allows you to easily fit it in almost any of your LEGO models. And I've made sure that the dimensions of the frame line up with the height of both Technic elements and regular LEGO bricks so it always fits neatly with no awkward gaps. I've tried to keep this design as simple as possible, so it's really easy for you to customize and add new modules or components. And you can see an example of how I've done this myself, where I've built this air compressor into the base of a giant oil rig, where it powers a massive pneumatic crane that uses the high pressure to move its actuators and extend its boom arm in all directions. This is just one example of what you could use it for, but the possibilities are really endless. So let's get started and take a look at what you're gonna to need to build your own working pneumatic air compressor. The first thing you'll need is some pneumatic tubing. And here are all of the lengths of tubing that I've used in my air compressor. So you can trim your pneumatic tubes to a similar size and they don't have to be the exact size to the very millimeter or anything. But this set of lengths will ensure that you have a nice neat tube system that doesn't stick out too much outside of the frame. You'll also need these pneumatic connector pieces and once you've got all of those, you can join them together with the pneumatic tubes in this configuration and it's just a bit easier to do this way separately from the main construction so you've got a bit more space to join everything together. And once you're done with your tube assembly you should have one short pneumatic tube left over which will be used to connect up the air tanks and we can put all of this away for the time being while we build the next part of the air compressor. So for the mechanism itself we'll build this in two parts starting with the frame and the pump mechanism. So once you've collected your parts, we can begin by building the support structure on the side. So for the first one here, we'll need to use these black Technic pieces and slide through these one by five axles. And we're basically gonna wanna add a new connector piece each time we slide the axle through. So use this little one down the bottom here. Let's slide the axle through a bit more and attach another one of these black pieces and then slide that through so that's all the way and nothing is sticking out on the side. Now for this top bit we can take this double Technic connector piece and hold that in the middle and then do the same thing and slide through one of these 1x5 axle pieces making sure that's all nicely lined up just like that. Then we can take two regular 1x2 black Technic pins and clip them in the top along with a 1x5 Technic beam on the top there and one of these 1x1 pins with a stud attachment and that will give you another attachment point to help you build this air compressor into your own LEGO structures. So the second support frame uses a similar construction where we'll basically wedge all of these pieces in place except this time instead of using the 1x5 axles we're going to use slightly longer 1x7 ones and just slide them through and this time instead of them being flush with the sides of this frame we're actually going to want to have about one stud space worth of Technic axle sticking out on either side so something like this and then again we'll repeat this design on the middle with another 1x7 Technic axle. So something like that is looking good. And then before we add these two 
bits to the top, or actually you can clip those on the top first, those pins. We can also take another pin and stick that just in the middle on the back there. So just like that. And that will be used for attaching the motor in the second half of the build. Then we can clip another 1x5 Technic beam and another one of these 1x1 stun attachments on the top to finish off that second support frame. And then the last thing we'll need to do for each of these frames is just take a 2x4 plate and a couple of these 2x2 tiles with the Technic pin attachments in the middle and clip them on top. And then these can be used to secure this air compressor to a studded surface. Or if you want to build this into a Technic creation, you can leave these bits out. But these just make it a bit neater for this tutorial. So next up, we'll build the center drive shaft, which we use a 1x4 axle and one of these 24 tooth Technic gears, along with a 1x2 connector in the middle, a 1x3 axle, along with a little tube to cover that up, another 1x2 connector, and another 1x3 Technic axle with your second 24 tooth gear on the end. And we can put that aside for the time being. So next up, it's time to build the pneumatic pumps. And this will use a kind of crankshaft design at the top. And we're also gonna build two of these. So I'll just show you how to build one of them since they're both identical. But basically we'll start by assembling this little assembly out of these one by three half Technic beams. And then here you can take two of these pneumatic pump pieces and just slide them on on either end and then secure them in place with a couple of one by two Technic plates, just like this. So do the same for both sides. And on this other side, just bring that up instead of facing downwards. And that should look just like this. And then we can add on another couple of these one by three axles just on the ends of those pieces. And the important tip for this is make sure that these blue uh, Technic beam pieces aren't too squeezed in to the pumps because you're going to want the pumps to still move around and have plenty of space. So something like that is looking pretty good. Since both of those pumps have got plenty of space to move around. Now we can attach a couple of these smaller Technic gears on either side. And then through this bit at the bottom, we can take one of these one by five Technic axles and another one of these connector pieces along with this half axle, half pin piece, slide that through here. And then we're gonna wanna basically connect these two pumps up at the bottom. So slide that through, attach one of these black connector pieces through the middle, and then continue that through the other side. And you can sort of guess how we're gonna finish this off. Just do that symmetrically with another one of these connectors, and another one of these blue half pin pieces, and that is your first half of the pump built. So just build another one that's exactly the same as this for the other side. And now with all of your components built, we can assemble everything together. So we'll begin by taking one of these pump half pieces and making sure these pneumatic valves are facing outwards. Just clip that in on the bottom with the axle in the top like that. And then we can also take this central drive shaft and just slide that in through this top Technic hole like that. So then do the same with the other side, again, making sure the pneumatic axle air valve pieces are facing outwards. And you can line these up a bit better if you want, but you can see they're all attached together and we can secure all of that in place with the second half. And for this, make sure the Technic pin side is facing outwards. And then that will basically clip into place. And you can see that everything will move now all in one assembly. So that will give you a nice powerful movement with those pneumatic pumps that will generate a lot of high pressure air. 
And this is where we can attach all of our pneumatic tubes in this big spider web of tubes that we have. So with these, first thing we'll do is slide this grey tube right through the middle. I'll keep it nearly out of the way and just keep going until that comes out of the other side of the structure like that. So that's good, that's all in place. And now with these other bits, we can get them a bit more neater by just clipping them to these exposed Technic axles on the sides. So do the same for both of those and then flip that around to the other side, just like that. And you can see all that's left to do now is to connect these up to the pneumatic pumps. So this can be a little bit fiddly, but basically the design you're going to want to do is have the top one go to the closest pump and the slightly longer tube go to the one that's further away. So do the same for both sides and make sure they're all nicely secured in place all the way to the end. And there you go, the first half of your pneumatic air compressor is now complete. Here are the rest of the pieces you'll need to build the second and final half of your air compressor. And this time we'll begin with a much more simple design for the support frame, which we just use two of these Technic pins, a 1x5 Technic beam, and one of these pins with the stun attachment in the middle. And then we can do the same thing for the base with a 2x4 plate, along with two of these 2x2 two two Technic pin plates. On top of that, to finish that off. Next, we're going to want to build four identical assemblies, which will use these 1x2 half Technic plates, along with a couple of these blue half pin, half axle pieces, and two Technic half bush plates on top of those. And you're going to want to build four of those in total. And with all of those in place, we can start attaching everything together to our main assembly. So first up is the motor. So this will simply clip onto that Technic axle and the Technic pin underneath of that. So slide that into place like that. And you see it wobbles around at the moment. Well, that's what these little connect pieces are for. So just slide a couple in on either side to secure that motor in place. And then we're going to want to take another one of these pins and clip it on the end of this support beam. And then this can simply clip on the other side of this Technic motor. So it can be a bit fiddly with all the cables and everything, but basically that should clip into place over on that side. And then you can use your last remaining connector piece to secure that in place from that end. And with that, the main part of the air compressor is complete. So we can now build the optional reservoir tank attachment to store some extra air. So you can see I'm using these Lego pneumatic air tank pieces and I've already attached that last pneumatic tubing piece, that bit we had left over from the start. And what we're going to want to do with all of this is basically secure it together. So we'll build a couple of these little support pieces using some of these 1x2 Technic axles just through either end of there and secure them in place with a couple of half bushes. And then you can build a second copy of that piece as well. And with these, we can basically clip these two air tanks together so that 1x5 space will be just big enough to slide in and secure both tanks side by side. So very neat and strong construction. And then the last thing that we need to do is build a couple of small brackets using these 1x5 beams which can be attached to the middle of the back of the air tanks just like this. And this will allow us to clip our air tanks directly to the rest of the air compressor. So it will be a very neat little design and nice and strong way to attach it. And then you can finish that off with another four of these black Technic friction pins over in the bottom. 
and this can quite simply attach onto the end of this loose bit of tubing that you have here. So that means that any air that the air compressor compresses will first get pumped into these two tanks to act as a bit of a reservoir and make sure that's nice and well secured down into place. Don't want that coming off by accident. And then we can basically just fold all of this tubing just down the bottom there in the middle in between of those two 1x5 Technic beams. And you can see that will secure into place and make sure that no tube is trapped or anything. There should be just enough space for all of those tubes to sit together. And with that, your working Lego air compressor is complete. And as I mentioned at the start, this is just the very bare bones, most simple design that you can have. So if you're including this in your own Lego creations, I definitely recommend reinforcing it a bit and building it into your surroundings which will strengthen the entire air compressor and ensure that it's completely solid. If you enjoyed building it, then please give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more working pneumatic mechanisms. And don't forget to check out my full playlist of functional working Lego creations and mechanisms, which will be linked in the description. I'll see you guys next time with even more exciting LEGO creations and thanks for watching.